this video, we will take a look at the video playlist feature on Manicam. This is a very versatile feature that can be used on business presentations, online classes, entertainment streams, and much more. First, let's see how we can access the video playlist and go over the basic controls. Here, we are on a video preset with an empty layer. So let's go ahead and click on the video playlist button. Inside the playlist panel, we can open saved playlists, save a playlist or delete it. We also have a slider for duration, which is particularly useful if you're using videos and you want to skip to a specific part. Then we have the usual playlist controls such as volume controls, play, pause, backwards and forward, loop and shuffle. We can add video sources below by clicking on the preset slot, like this. Or we can use the panel on the side. On this panel we can also click here to specify the duration of each item and the transition that we want. In this case we'll set short durations and select this transition. We've also set the playlist to loop, so it's going to keep rotating between these presets. When my playlist is ready, I can go back to my video presets and, for example, add layers on top of it, such as my webcam, other videos and so on. This feature can also help you enhance your online presentations. For example, you can drag and drop media files into your playlist. So, if you save your slide deck as single image files, you can select them all and drag them into your playlist like this. PowerPoint, Keynote, Google Slides and most apps allow you to export your slides as images. Then we can set the transition we want and a longer duration, because we will control that manually. In playlists, we can also add YouTube videos and any source that will enhance our presentations. Here is a cool trick. When we go to hotkeys within settings, we can define a keyboard command to switch from one playlist preset to the next. In my case, I choose command alt plus the arrows to go back and forth. We'll add a link in the description below for more info on the hotkeys. Once that's set up, I can go back to my main presets view and use the hotkeys to switch between my slides. Just make sure you select the preset with the playlist. The playlist feature is also great if you want to have more control over video related sources such as video files and YouTube URLs. We'll add a video here from our channel and one from our files. Next we could add more videos, shuffle between them, play them on a loop or go to the slider and select the exact part that we want to play. Then we can go back to the main presets and add any other layers on top, such as your webcam view. Just a quick reminder, when you add your webcam, you can go to the Virtual Backgrounds tab and remove your background. With all the presets and tools available, the possibilities with the video playlist feature are endless. Let us know in the comments section below which tutorial you'd like to see next.